Donaldson lines one and glove oh. by Angleton Seven. One moment snap. I'm just glad people are digging baseball. Hi, I'm Jamal15. And I'm Max Whittle. This is Bases Covered, episode two. And we're still in quarantine. <laughs> I am the best at this, nah, you ain't gonna mess with this Ever heard of what the veteran names? I work hard and the most to be weathering Same position, different week, haven't had a haircut for six weeks, hence the hat How you doing? I feel like the black Wolverine, the beard's ridiculous well, we've only got one role during lockdown. That's to get newcomers like some of you guys out there and this guy excited and prepped for the new baseball season. How? By building our own celebrity influencer baseball team. Last week, we got Eddie Hall to join our team. This week, you're gonna have to wait and see. Each week, we'll be adding a new player to our roster. And after all this is all over, we're gonna get everybody together and have the mother of all baseball games. In baseball, every stadium prides itself on the weird and wonderful range of food that it sells. And you don't even have to leave your seat. Hawkers in the stands sell everything from hot dogs to ice cream. Nachos? Yeah. Did you see that? As you might have guessed, ballpark portions are slightly on the larger side. So we thought we'd enlist somebody who knows a thing or two about big eats. Now I thought Jamal ate a lot, but this guest puts him absolutely in the shade. So presenting to you world record holding pro eater, Leah Shutkiva. Hello, thank you so much for having me. No problem at all. <laughs> For you guys who tune into episode one, if you didn't know, Leah actually out ate Eddie Hall. Like, how? Huh? I'm a professional eater and I'm exceptionally competitive. It's like a superpower, like you're not gonna walk around invisible, but if you gotta be invisible, like you'll be invisible, you know? Leah, seeing as you're an expert, we would like your help on this game that we've called Eat It or Repeat It. So up first, we've got the Colorado Rockies Rocky Mountain Oyster Po' Boy, a deep fried bull's testicle sandwich. So I've never, I've never tried a testicle oh, before, but if I was going to, at least make it look good, you know. Bread saves um. most meals, not testicles. Seattle Mariners have toasted grasshoppers. Do I have to say anything else? They're toasted bugs in a cup. Salted caramel mm. on top of these. Or taken with some kind of soy sauce. Yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad. I'd eat it as well. Right, so Leah and Jamel <laughs> are Terry. repeating testicles, but they're eating grasshoppers. Up next, I can't believe what I'm looking at here. <laughs> it is the Minnesota Twins Bloody Mary. Mate, there's a bagel hanging off <laughs> a cup. If I, I don't like Bloody Marys, I definitely don't like Bloody Mary and her extended family. That is a huge <laughs> portion. Hey. Repeat. repeat, repeat, repeat. Right, they've left the best till last. The Orioles have come through again with a beer can chicken. The, the poor chicken kind of, you know, was minding its own business one day and then it just finds itself in the afterlife looking down on itself like, well, they've slapped a helmet on my head and I'm sat on a can, it looks like. Uh, Leah, you're eating it, I assume? Eating. Jamel? Repeating. I have no respect for chickens. I am eating it. Well, you clearly know your stuff. I was in America with Jamel very recently and I saw him hoover up all of the food that you now see for breakfast. So we are going to do a mini eating challenge right here, right now. It's Jamel versus Leah and they're gonna be a ballpark classic, nachos and cheese. If you were giving some tips to somebody that is gonna start doing some competitive eating like in the next five minutes, hypothetically speaking, what tips would you give them? I would tell that person that isn't you to get over the fact of the flavour, ignore everything and go in. Okay, I'll, be go. I'll, I'll pass that on to somebody that isn't me, okay. <laughs> so please hold up your nachos, let's make sure it's equal, not that it matters. Um, Leah, we've got sour cream, salsa, guacamole, cheese, and Jamel, you burnt your cheese. I know you're trying to cheat, but you've got avocado and you've got salsa. Okay, guys, three, two, one, eat. <laughs> that shows up, they, they gotta go in your mouth, Jamel. <laughs> Jamel, stop, stop laughing. <laughs> we are one minute down. Jamel's choking and drinking too much. It's, 
not a good technique. He's not listening to anything she's told him. Two minutes. You're my teammate, come on. Oh, Pick it up, baby. Team. Pick it up. You weren't supporting me before. One That's the last there. technique. It's in. Wash your hands. And the bowl is clear. I've got feet around like that. Sorry, guys. How you feeling, mate? I tried to cheat, and it didn't work. I tried to pour some out, and it went on the floor. Let me tell you, you think it's disgusting online, it is more disgusting in real life. <laughs> just make a quick recovery and just keep moving. Leah, thank you so much for playing with us, and also really destroying Jamel in that nacho eat off. Thank you, it was my honestly, pleasure. Honestly, Apparently. you think you know a guy. That was intense, but I can promise you things aren't going to get any healthier as we move on to announce the newest player to join our team. Yes, so it's time to add the second player joining our team. Last week, we had one of the world's strongest men, Eddie Hall, but this week, we're looking for something a little different. It's the food episode, so this player needs to know their way around home plate and a hot plate. We are psyched to announce the newest member joining our team, the one-man caterer, DJ Barbecue. Hey man, how are you doing? You are donning a serious outfit. Obviously you're uh, American and a big foodie. Dare I say, a uh, big baseball fan too. How big? Um, I grew up uh, with the Orioles and the original Wax Washington's team, the Senators. Now I support the Nats. But luckily we won the World Series last year, so go Nats! We won the World Series last year! <laughs> We're best in... North America! The <laughs> What is your best food memory as a fan growing up? Good question, Jamal. It's gonna, I mean, I love a hot dog, and just when you're a kid, all you want are hot dogs, you can live off of them. They've come on a long way these days with their food. Yeah. Um, like, all you can eat popcorn. I mean, that to me, I, I'm doing that all day. <laughs> we asked you to come up with a signature dish for our new UK based team. How did you get on? When you guys first approached me the idea, like, hey, can we serve the whole thing in your baseball glove? Do you know how much gravy I put on that burger? Yeah, we know, that, yeah, that was a bad shout. That, that was a bad shout, yeah. <laughs> Jamel, do you wanna see it? Do you wanna see the creation? Listen up, Jamel and Max. I have got a very, very special burger for you. It's called the Grand Slam Roast Beef Double Cheeseburger. Listen, the French call the English roast beef. So I'm gonna slice some roast beef on top of two cheeseburgers, and then I'm gonna add this beautiful condiment, horseradish sauce. Mm, mm. Open up those basil pastas, take in the taste, take in the awesomeness, let's do this. So they do a really good double cheeseburger at the Angel Stadium, and uh, I've just taken that burger, and I'm gonna add a ton of roast beef. And then I'm gonna just pour gravy on top of that. Roast beef and gravy, man. Who doesn't like that? The DJ Barbecue. Grand Slam. Roast beef double cheeseburger from Planet Awesometron. Mm. Mm. You got your proteins, you got your carbs, you got your gravy. I don't know what category that falls into. <laughs> <laughs> So talking of teams now, you're now the second player to join mine and Max's team. We welcome you with open arms. How are you feeling about joining our new team? I'm an expat living in the UK. So uh, I'm yeah. just glad people are digging baseball. <laughs> so DJ Barbecue, it's time to tell you where you'll be playing on our team. Now, as a chef, we thought we'd give you a position that requires quick decision-making, good coordination, and well, multitasking as well. So. You are our official shortstop. Oh my God, I'm okay. I better start doing push-ups right now. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, while he's doing that, let's take a look at what that position means. DJ, if uh, Elvis Andrus had your glove that you cooked with here, that would hurt even more. That was an absolute Dude, he, stinger. <laughs> he wouldn't have a hand if he had this glove. <laughs> <laughs> So shortstop is between third base and second base, so you're gonna have the ball come to you a lot. And as one of the few players on our team that actually owns a glove and has played before, we are going to make you our lead-off hitter. So that means you'll be batting first. Basically, DJ, we want you to show everyone how it's done. But lead-off, I'm down with it. I like pressure, because if you're a chef, you gotta, you gotta take the pressure. My job is to get the party started or to get on base. Right, well, the party starter has to do this. 
for those of you at home. So Derek Jeter, DJ, I know you don't like the Yankees, but this guy, one of only 32 players in history to have over 3,000 hits. And look at the first base coach here after this single. He's like, Derek, can I get your autograph? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, speaking of 3,000, oh. he hit the 3,000 for the home run. Not a way, not a bad way to do it. That's ambitious right there. You guys expect that one from me. Uh Good, don't eat too many burgers before you come to plate. And uh, as you saw there from Fernan Fernando Tatis Jr., you need to be quick because you don't want you getting thrown out. So, Mr. Barbecue, it's time to make you an official player. Let's take a look at your very own baseball card. Amazing. <gasps> Dude! You look majestic, you look incredible, I, I, mate. I used to collect baseball cards, man. I actually moved to California once and I sold about half my collection just to get to California. I was like, Dad, you said it was a little hobby. You didn't say it was gonna pay off. Now I got my own car. I am legit. <laughs> How about speciality, fire and smoke? That could be good or bad if you come to the plate. I know about that. I mean, yeah. I'm bringing the fire and I'm bringing the smoke. There's not one without the other. You guys remember that, all right? DJ, are you excited for the big game? Excited? Dude, I'm about to go up on, on a, and make a playlist of all the tunes that go with baseball, man. I'm on <laughs> Spotify right now. I know other sharing music platforms are available. Dude, I'm excited, man. I am pumped. Put me in, coach. Thank you for including me in the ultimate baseball team. Thank you. Oh. No, thank you for thank being you a part of this. amazing. See you soon. Can't wait. Cannot wait. See you soon. Bye, guys. So we've now seen DJ Barbecue's amazing creation. Now we want you to try it at home. Be as outrageous and as crazy as you like, put it together, upload it, and then use the hashtag MLB at home. Yes, we might even be able to reward the best creations with a little something. But last week, we set a challenge for you guys, the homemade bat challenge. Here's a selection of some of our favorites. MLB homemade bat challenge. One skateboard, one pair of socks. Congrats to those that we featured. We'll be in touch with your prize. Right Bases Covered family, that's all for today's show. Next week, we'll be selecting another player, so make sure you subscribe below. Click that little bell for notifications of new videos. Next week, it's all about pitching. We're gonna leave you with some food for thought. See what I did there, okay? When you get your food at the ballpark, make sure you still keep an eye on the game. We'll see you soon. Bye! Three walks, seven strikeouts, this one. Smack down the line, it'll get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs>